Jenna Jameson did an interview on Good Day New York for her new book, Sugar, which is supposed to be something like Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, and the interview was an absolute train wreck. Let's listen and then we'll talk about it after. The name of the book is Sugar. Sugar. She's one of the biggest names in the adult film industry. She's doing other things besides, you know, movies. She's got a book out. Jenna Jameson, welcome to Good Day New York. How Hi. are you? Hi. Thanks for having me. When did you retire from adult films, or have you fully retired? About 10 years ago. 10 years ago. But yeah. the body of work obviously is still out there and people still watch. Of course. So now you've been writing this this novel, right? It's it's described yes, as an erotic novel. it's a trilogy. Novel. Oh, it's a trilogy. Yeah. And are you? Is there something about the main character that is kind of um, similar to your life? It's about me. It is about you. It's about me. So tell us a, the story. Well, I mean, I I didn't want it to be exact of what I've always done. So I so I kind of made up a. a fantastic yummy story because I you know I read all the other stories and I was like Ugh. have you read Fifty Shades of Grey yes and what what is this like this has a little bit more to it it does it does a right. huge amount more hmm. interesting I think it's gonna do very well your previous book did very well as well can I ask you this how did you first get into uh, the adult film business what that that first leap has got to be a big one uh, I was very young. How old were you? I, I, 19. Did somebody, uh, did you want to do it? Did somebody push you into it? No. I, I just figured it would be fun. I understand. <laughs> and and what? was it? It was you know, fun. Did you see that movie Lovelace that came out this year about Linda yeah, Lovelace? Yeah, I was kind of sad. Because that, that was different because it seemed like she did not want to get in, involved with the industry and, and they were a little abusive to her. Were they abusive yeah, I, to you? I, Listen, whatever she had to say, I seem to think that it was bull. You weren't you, you weren't buying her story. No. So the adult film industry was was good to you, and you enjoyed it. Yeah, I made my my whole entire life was taken care of. I did it, and, and you made a lot of money. Yes. Right? Yes. Can I ask you this? I've always kind of been curious. I mean, when, you, when you're in that industry, is it possible to have a regular marriage? I know you've been married. I mean, mm -hmm. with when you in, it's a unique line of work, and you meet these other people, and you're intimate with them. Is it possible to be intimate with one person at the same time? You know what I mean? Well, I was always really good at being monogamous. I, I like When that. you weren't working? No. While I was working, it, I mean, I'd love to be just with him, mm -hmm. so. Huh. Can we talk about uh, your marriage right now? Obviously, things are going crazy. You've been tweeting about your, your ex, Tito, and, and, um, and your kids. How, how is that going right now? Has he responded to you at all? Uh, no, everything's going well. <laughs> it's going well. Um, yeah, everything's going to go okay. Well, listen, Jenna Jameson, it's nice meeting you. We Oh, oh man. Oh, that was awkward. The end was the worst. Like, everything is going well. It's going well. Everything is going to be okay. Oh man, I feel bad. I, f I mean, I got to be honest, I feel like a slight dick for even covering the story. But apparently, that didn't stop me. Uh, something's up. Something's wrong, and she came. She did another interview later, supposedly. I didn't get a chance to see it. I just saw a tweet about it from uh, one of the news websites. Supposedly she was hammered in that one also, while she was maintaining like that she wasn't hammered and she wasn't drunk. Look, I, now I'm gonna be I'm gonna uh, be uh, inappropriate here and needlessly speculate, and I could be totally wrong and totally off base. But I'm gonna tell you how I see it and what I take away from that. She's got to be. It's at least like she's super drunk. It's one of these things. I don't think it's an upper, right? I don't think it's an upper. So cocaine's out of the picture. Any other uppers are out of the picture. I think she's either super drunk or she's drunk and she's on other uh, pills or something like Xanax or some sort of downer. I don't want to be too big of a dick and go that extra leap and say it's heroin because that's a bold claim and there's no evidence of that. But all I'm saying is the way that, the way that she's responding so slowly and like, 
it's just it's that's all the 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 clues and the evidence points towards a, a big time downer drug that she's on. And by the way, I'm not even entertaining the thought that she's not on something, uh, not even close. Unless she's acting, which I don't. There's no reason to act, but it's she definitely on something. And I look, I know nothing about her personal life, you know, uh, and the whole thing. She seems some with her husband kind of struck a chord where she's talking about her husband, and I'm like, is that the soft? Is that the nerve spot that they hit when they brought that up? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in her life. I don't want to speculate any further, even though I'm speculating this entire segment. <laughs> I was telling somebody earlier, I'm like, no, no, no it's cool. Because I did the, we did the story about Bieber yesterday, where I was like, I'm not going to judge. And then I just continued to judge the entire clip. <laughs> Look, you're, don't, isn't that how it works? Aren't you allowed to judge all you want as long as you say you're not going to judge? I thought that's, the, you know, that's uh, somewhere written in the laws of nature, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, and then the last point, <laughs> my favorite part was that uh, she goes, oh, no, I'm, I'm really good at being monogamous. Yeah, not quite sure that counts. <laughs> Look, I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a lib, right? I would have no problem dating. Honestly, I don't think I would have a problem dating a stripper, a porn star, or anything like that. But, I mean, that's not really monogamous, <laughs> especially if you're in the porn industry. It's... We, can, we gotta come up with a new word for that, that it's not cheating because it's not cheating. It's they're working and that's what they do, right? But it's also not being monogamous because it's not being monogamous either. Think of a word, leave it in the comment section. I'm gone.